shot by police. As professional athletes demonstrated for social justice this summer following the police shootings of African Americans, Harvard educated emergency room doctor Omar Amr is taking a deep dive into race through water polo. It's the sport he played at Sunny Hills High School in Fullerton, UC Irvine, and the 2004 Olympics. The son of Egyptian immigrants says his dark skin led him to be on the receiving end of the N word countless times, including a crucial college game. Off of the sprint, this guy kicked me and called me the N word in front of the official, and I was kicked out of the game. So let me get this right. You were the target of a racial slur, but you were the one ejected from the game. And that happened more times than I can count. After the game, his justification was he didn't want me to retaliate. After retiring from competition, Amr became the doctor for the women's national water polo team, which allowed him to meet a young Ashley Johnson, who he says had talent that so many coaches didn't see. He had to put his reputation on the line at multiple points to speak against people who were saying that I wasn't, that I was lazy or I came from a family that had bad values. Amr fought for Johnson to be the starting goalie on the national team which she helped to win the gold medal at the 2016 Olympics. She's the first African-American woman to compete at the Olympics in water polo. I think that more can be done. The team's general manager says in the wake of the George Floyd demonstrations, USA Water Polo created a task force to address systemic injustice. In the late 60s and in the 70s, after the Civil Rights Act, pools were forced to become integrated. Many cities decided that it was no longer in their best interest to fund an aquatics facility in their area. Amr says he was cut from the Olympic team in 2000 after a trip to Europe where every meal included pork, which he can't eat because he's Muslim. And he says he was bullied by a team staffer. Emphatically stated in front of the whole team that um, I was not allowed to be different. And if I was going to be different, then I shouldn't be allowed to eat. In 2001, he trained to qualify for the squad with a new coaching staff that respected his faith which led him to making the team in 2004. For the first time, I wasn't a jerk for being different. That's why he founded the Alliance for Diversity and Equity in water polo to promote the sport and find more Ashley Johnsons. I'm not afraid to get in people's faces. I don't want to be another angry dark guy fighting the fight. I want objective measures to create change. Creating change can't happen by simply treading lightly.